Can computers think? Are they intelligent? Take the Turing test. Manchester academic Alan Turing, a brilliant mathematician and computer scientist, wanted to know how we'd recognise if computers could think. In 1950, he developed a simple test, the imitation game, into what we now call the Turing test. Here's how the test works. You ask a person, the judge, to have a five minute conversation with two hidden partners. One partner is a human and the other is a computer. Throughout the conversation, the judge has to decide which is the human and which is the computer. If the judge is unable to reliably distinguish between the computer and the human, then the machine has passed the test. So, if a computer passes the Turing test, can it think? Is it intelligent? That's the long-standing question that academics have tried to answer time and time again. While the test has been highly influential in the field of artificial intelligence, it's not without controversy. Champions of the test say that because of the test's simplicity and its ability to cover a wide range of subject matters and skill sets, it allows the AI's potential for subtlety and empathy to be measured. If human judges are unable to tell a machine from another human being, then this should be a good indicator that the computer is intelligent. However, some argue that the Turing test does not measure intelligence, instead it measures the AI's ability to follow instructions and how easy it is to fool a human being. This objection is espoused in the Chinese room argument. Imagine you're in a room with a computer and Google Translate. Someone sends you a message written in Chinese. You then use Google to translate your reply, despite not knowing a word of Chinese yourself. With this technology, you could have a conversation completely in Chinese simply by using a program that follows an algorithm of language translation rules. Critics argue that this is what machines subjected to the Turing test are doing, and therefore they are not intelligent. In any case, with AI in use today, most are employed to carry out specific tasks. Their intelligence is limited to a narrow functionality. Do we need AI to be any more? But humans still have a predilection for creating something in their own image. So who knows, maybe one day we will work our way towards sentient robots.